gravel by that. I was going to go in the court courthouse, but I see people outside in front of the courthouse, so what's going on? I see Time 11, WBAL TV is here. Stay with the boy. You look like Jay Wendell Gordon. Is that you? What's going on? Hold up. Jay Wendell Gordon. You, you got time for an interview? Huh? You going to court? You got time for an interview? No? Yes, he said. Oh, he said yes? He said yes. Oh, I'm sorry. How you doing? Okay. You know that fine lawyer? No, I don't. It's a fine lawyer right there. I can wait to get him on an interview. Hopefully I'll never need one. <laughs> yeah. I was just happened to go in the court and I seen a fine attorney like that coming up. I saw the news crews out there waiting for somebody to come out. Yes, sir. They were in the garden. Yes, sir. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing all right. How you doing? How are having to walk in the court? Did you Did you get in? Did you make it in? I ain't making it yet, but can you let us know what's going on today? Uh, today we just did our opening arguments. Mm -hmm. uh, the state put on, they laid out what they expect the evidence to show, and we did the same. And uh, I think we laid out enough information to let everyone know that this isn't going to be a slam dunk. I mean, they're going to have to fight for everything they get. And right. um, I don't expect them to come out 100% victorious either. Mm -hmm. So give, give us a little brief on what happened and what took place. I know well, you pressed state, for time. You know, the state played the video of the final moments of Officer, Officer Caprio's life. Mm -hmm. uh, it was filled with bloodshed and, and all these types of uh, images to, to get you emotionally charged and, and uh, passionate about uh, Officer Caprio and, and, and how she lost her life. And my job was to, to redirect them to the facts of the case. Mm -hmm. I mean, the emotion is good, strong feelings. Everybody's got strong feelings of, about the case. But as I told them, strong feelings don't equal strong facts. And we want to talk about the facts. We're not just going to play a video for you and, and just leave it there. We want you to know all of the facts. And once we do that, I think we'll lay out enough information to show that the burden of proof is very high. And, you know, I don't think that state will meet its burden on all counts. Okay. So it's still in recess right now? It's in Court? recess for about an hour. About an hour? Mm -hmm. And you representing the uh, Dante family? Harris. Dante Hearns. Charged with uh, first degree murder of Officer Caprio. How are we looking on this? Uh, you know, it, it always looked promising to me, but I'm not the fact finder. I'm mm -hmm. not the one who makes the final decision. So my job is to present as much information uh, about the case to the jury so they can feel the same way I do. Thank you. Is it a contact number? Somebody like to uh, have you to be their counsel? Well, you know, my number is listed 410-332-4121. But this isn't about that, really. I'm, I'm in trial, and that's what I'm really concerned about at this point. point right. Thank you very well, thank much. Thank you for coming. Appreciate I appreciate you. your support. Always. Thank you. Always. Appreciate and I mean you. that. I, I mean thank that. You. I thank really you. do. Appreciate right. you. Okay. How long is the recess going to be? About an hour. About an hour. Yep. Thank you. See you then. Thank you. Uh, journey. Attorney Law, J. Wendell Gordon, as you see, folks, he's the attorney for the 16-year-old was charged in the death of the, the officer, and he wanted the 16-year-old. The, uh, I'm Larry Wallace, reporting your news live in Towson, Courthouse. Recess for Yahweh. Breaking news.